The beginning of antler genesis basically is, is thought. We don't know for sure, but it's thought that there's a spike in a hormone. Uh, not to be a spike as in an antler spike, but uh, an increase in, in a hormone level within the body that initiates the growth. But basically that when the antler is dropped off, there's basically an open wound there. It, it's bare bone and it, it actually bleeds, fills in with blood and then uh, scabs over eventually just like any wound that, that we get and it'll scab and, and after you know a week or two that scab will fall off well underneath that scab is the beginning of the growing antler and we've got we've got a sequence of, of growing antlers showing the scab antler growing up with the scab on top and falling off and then the the, the growing antler getting larger and larger uh, so underneath that velvet skin is basically a, a bone growing physiological mechanism, if you would. There's, there's two main components in antlers. One is protein, and the other is a combination of minerals, but calcium and phosphorus predominantly, and then a whole bunch of uh, micronutrients, microminerals. But uh, think of it as protein, 50% protein, and 50% minerals. And so the, the buck needs a good protein content in his diet because that's the structure, the, the two by fours of the house, if you would, is protein. And as that antler is growing and laying down this protein, other cells in, in the, underneath the velvet are depositing minerals onto that structure. So it's a combination of protein structure and then minerals being attached to that underlying structure.